Welcome to HSCB. No, not HSBC, the Global Banking Corporation. This is Ho Street Central Bank on Ho Street in Walthamstow in Northeast London. It's not really a central bank. They're an arts project, but they have one thing in common with central banks, and that's that they print their own money. Let's go inside and see how. Hello. Hi. So this Hello. is a bank. Yes. Hi. Welcome. Hi. 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 So we're making our own currency of five, ten, twenties, fifties. Now actually, a hundred and a thousand pound notes and people come in, buy them as artwork stroke banknotes, and the money that we're raising is shared between the, the causes that are featured on the note. A food bank, homeless kitchen, youth project and primary school, people that we feel are fighting the fallout of a current economic system that isn't working, and the other half of the money we raise will go into a fund to buy up and abolish a million pounds of local payday debt. So let's talk about it. How does money actually, how is it created? How does it come into being? All money is created as credit. All money begins as a loan to someone. We have banks that can create money out of thin air, but they can't do that unless we, the people, borrow. We, firms or individuals, actually apply for the loan. When we're nervous and worried about the economy, we don't borrow. But when we're feeling euphoric, when things are going well, we think, wow, let's borrow and let's go and buy that house in London or that flat. And so money, the money supply contracts and expands depending on the level of confidence that we have to borrow. And when we lack that confidence, the money supply contracts. What went wrong in the crisis? You had an increase in debt, but the debt was in order to finance activities that didn't actually create the real economic value that could service that debt in the long term. The really important thing in creating new money and in creating new debt is to ensure in the risk assessment that that loan, that debt, is going to generate activity which will generate income which can then be used to repay the loan. And the fact that too much of the debt that's created becomes bad debt, that's yes. another part of what these artists here are trying to teach us because they use the proceeds of these artworks, these counterfeit notes yes. that are artworks in order to redeem all debt. They were telling us that they could redeem a million pounds worth face value yes. of debt for something like 25,000 pounds, which yes. kind of goes to show how bad those lending decisions must have been exactly. in the first place. Yes. People are around the world thinking about quite radical reforms. Yes. One thing is to try and stop or end this traditional way that private banks create money and make it a monopoly of national central yes. banks. I don't like that and the reason is that while it's uh, our system is quite fragile. Nevertheless, it's profoundly democratic. You know, we as individuals decide on the creation of money. Uh, the banks play a, an important role in that. But if there were no borrowers, the banks would be powerless. If we take that crucial role and give it to a committee of men, and they're bound to be men, at the top of the world to decide, oh, this is how much money the nation needs, it becomes quite authoritarian in my view. And what you need is public authorities, the central bank, the treasury, to, to guide banks in their lending and to demand that private banks should lend for productive income generating activity and not for speculative non-income generating activity. Banks, when they decide how much to lend, yeah. they have an incentive to lend more and more and more when things are already yes. working well, when people yes. are optimistic. Yes. And then they stop lending when things are bad. But probably what we ideally want is the opposite. We want to rein in lending a bit when people are over optimistic yes. and then push it up in, uh, in the downturn. So the money creation system is a public, uh, a public good. It's like our san sanitation mm. system. It cannot just be left to market forces. And I agree with you that, that, it, that banks become euphoric and expand too much and then contract when it's mostly needed. So when there is a slump, there's nothing you can do to persuade people to borrow because they're nervous. They're as timid as a mouse. And that is the time for the roaring lion that is the public sector to spend. One thing in which central banks, real central banks, are similar to this artistic central bank is yes. that they have actually been printing their own money a lot yes. since the crisis, precisely to do uh, what you said, to try to make up for the lack of Yes. borrowing and money creation in the private economy. Should central bank money creation, yes. which isn't 
yeah. physical notes, but central bank reserves, should yes. that have been spread more widely? The central bank that is being, was invented as part of a, a, a total monetary system to look after the banks, to look after the finance sector, not to look after you and I in the high street. That's the role of the private banking sector, and the private banking sector has failed in that dismally. And for sound reasons, as I've said already, you know, the conditions are not good for lending. And, and people are nervous about borrowing because the conditions are not good. And that is the failure of, uh, of government for refusing to play the part that government has to pay in a slump. Mm -hmm.